Hello everybody, and uh, before we can get started on Bongo's third day, day three, of uh, his time in Glassfren the Shed, I have a correction to make due to the extremely observant David Atkins of Trains on Tuesdays, who pointed out that the plane he was flying on, or wing walking on, was actually a hurricane, not a Spitfire. That is the hurricane that uh, Bonga Wing walked on. That is the Spitfire that he should have wing walked on. And just to let you know that I do know my aeroplanes, that one is Concorde. No, I'm joking, it's a Lancaster. And the three of them make up the memorial flight, which is uh, which I've seen in real life a few times. Lovely sight. After a busy day yesterday, Bongo had some really pleasant dreams. But he slept in and Ingrid on the Slappen was waiting for him outside the hotel. But eventually he appeared bright and smiley as ever. But that didn't stop Ingrid and giving him a good telling off for uh, being late for the thing she'd organised. Anyway, she took him down to the station and they waited on the platform for the special train that she'd arranged to take them to the circus. And they jumped on the train, the train took them down to the nearest station, and they wandered their way down to the circus. Where his dreams came true. I, uh, I took Bongo into my garage and uh, he said, oh, he said a motorbike, he said, can I have a ride on that? I said, no, that's my wife's Mandy's. And, uh, oh, I can't go in that uh, classic Mini. And I said, no, that's Mandy's as well. And he said, well, what about that old bugger over there? So I said, well, that's mine. So, uh, yeah, OK, I'll take some to drive. Well, she started off all right. And uh, I'm going to go and uh, we'll take uh, Bongo shopping. we go to Sainsbury's. He didn't want to ride in the passenger seat insisted on uh, standing under the bonnet and I begged him not to fall off. Here we are at Sainsbury's and uh, we've parked up nice and neat here. Now we go and do the shopping. So shopping done and we're on our way back home. Bongo insists on staying on the bonnet. So did you enjoy that Bongo? I think he said yes. Well, I think that's enough for today, Bongo. So, uh, we'll get him to take you back to the hotel. Pardon? Uh, he wants to know why he had to wear those group blue rags over the top of his green trousers. Well, the reason is, uh, Bongo, the, my computer program won't deal with a, a blue screen. And anyway, I haven't got one. So, because your trousers are green, I had to make them a different colour. So I made them blue, OK? Otherwise, it would see straight through you. So that's the explanation. Anyway, now say goodbye to everybody. Bye-bye, and, uh, and thanks for watching.